and we are six days into the primary election. We're now getting a clear picture of how voters feel about state candidates. For the second time this election season, KSN has commissioned a poll working with Emerson College and The Hill. We surveyed 1,000 Kansas voters about the top statewide races. Jonathan Ketch from our sister station in Kansas City breaks down the results. Incumbent Governor Laura Kelly has a three percentage point lead over current Attorney General Derek Schmidt, 46 to 43 percent, while independent Dennis Pyle has about five percent of the support. Four percent of voters are still undecided. I think it's kind of locked in and we'll see which side can get out their vote. Spencer Kimball is the executive director of Emerson College Polling. 52% of undecideds are leaning towards Kelly, while 22% are leaning towards Schmidt. What's interesting is she's competing in a Republican state as a Democrat, and if she was to actually win the race, I think it would be a gold star for the Democratic Party considering what they're looking at in other parts of the country. Like most Kansans, I'm not too far right or too far left. Kelly has branded herself as a moderate candidate, literally filming a campaign ad in the middle of a road back in April. Candidate Dennis Pyle is playing an interesting role in this race, too. He left the Republican Party in June to run as an independent candidate. Kimball says the 5% he's garnering is the difference in this race. The conventional wisdom would be if you've got a Republican third party, uh, if that candidate stays in, that should help the Democrat. If that candidate was to leave, their vote would ideologically fall more with the Republican per se. But in the state of Kansas, Kelly's been able to stake out that moderate position. And these voters clearly are have some trepidation for going with Schmidt. And that might be enough for them to switch over to Kelly. In the race for the U.S. Senate seat in Kansas, Republican U.S. Senator Jerry Moran leads Democratic challenger Mark Holland by a lot, 54 percent to 33 percent. In the race for Attorney General Democrat Chris Mann leads Republican Chris Kobach by a razor margin, 44% for Chris Mann, 43% for Chris Kobach. Kimball says there are likely factions within the Republican Party. It's why Moran is up by so much, but Kobach is in a much more competitive race. Here for you, Jonathan Katz, KSN News 3.